Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today we're going to be working on number three on the new general curriculum math subtest. This problem involves understanding place value, composition of numbers, and understanding visual representation of values. It's a nice problem on the new general curriculum practice test. I'll start uh, by reading it over. You'll notice just, just glancing at this that there's very little language here. The problem's dominated by the visuals. So, so this problem here uh, has a lot to do with interpreting each one of these figures here and understanding of representing numbers with visual representations. That's going to be a key component of this problem and solving this problem. All right, but let's start by reading it over. It says, if the figure above represents a thousand, which of the following figures represents 302? Let me put a box around that thousand and the 302. That's what we're, that's what we're going to be. Those are key numbers that we're going to be looking for. Now the thousand is here in this a manipulative, which is, has sides of 10, 10 little cubes here, and a, and a width of 10, another 10, and a height of 10. And we get the thousand by just doing length times width times height. In this case, 10 times 10 times 10 gets a thousand. Does that everyone agree? All right. Well, this shape here is a manipulative that's used a lot in elementary school to help students work through numbers ranging from 1 to 1,000. And we say like a little cube is equal to 1, a, a stick, which is made up of 10 of those, is equal to 10, a flat, which is made up of 10 tens, is 100, and a cube, like in the picture in front of us, which has... Uh, uh, 10 one hundredths is a thousand. And we can use this manipulative to uh, work with students and help them, you know, um, represent numbers in different ways and help build their automaticity with adding numbers together and subtracting numbers. So really, really important. And it gives students exposure to numbers um, up to the thousands place, adding and subtracting numbers up to thousands place. Okay. Let's practice some of that automaticity. We, we want to find out which one of these is equal to th 302, but let's just for ourselves, let's just, let's just see how well, how fast we can, we can do this. I'll start with A here. I got three sticks, that's 10 plus 10 plus 10, and two ones, which is two, so that's collectively that's 32. Let's do this one. I got a flat, which is 100, 100, 100, and I got two uh, tens, so this is 300 plus 20, 320. Is 320 the answer? Well, sometimes when you're rushing so fast, team. Did anyone make this mistake? Saw 320, saw the 302, and, and was like, I, B is the answer? You know, it's, it's meant to trick you. They, they make these tests out to trick you. And, and it's very easy on the day of the test when you're rushing to overlook that we're looking for 302 and you just found 320. It might have all the same digits, the 3, the 2, the 0, in a slightly different order. So you got to slow down. B is not the answer. 320 is not the answer, but it's, it's pretty close. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's finish this off here. We got... Uh, 100 here, 100 here. Now here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 10 sticks of 10, which is 100, plus the 2. So, so we could be like 100 times 2 and uh, 10 times 10. 2 times 1 gets... 2, collectively, this all adds up to 302. C is your answer. C is 302. D, 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got 20 plus 12, 32. Now, team, I'm doing this all out even after we found the answer because it's good practice and that's what they want you to do. All right, they want you to be familiar with these things. 
Now what makes C interesting is that we did some regrouping. Did everyone see how we regrouped that we had 10 10 so we regrouped it into 100. This uh, gives students exposure to not only adding values up but also practicing regrouping going to the next place value. Okay team I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Have an awesome day. Take care. Bye bye. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass the teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.